Now next week, Apple will be announcing the iPhone 11 series of phones. And if you're looking at a first look to pre-order cases for your iPhone 11, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Today we're gonna be looking at cases for the iPhone 11 Max. This is EBP Man Tech Reviews and I have 15 cases from iBlazon, Unicorn Beetle, that are gonna fit your brand new iPhone 11 Max. Let's get right to it. Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at several cases from Unicorn Beetle, iBlazon, that are gonna fit the iPhone 11 Max. We're gonna take a look at the fit and finish, we're gonna take a look at the overall features, and why you'd wanna consider these cases. And keep in mind, these cases are available for pre-order now. You can order these cases so that when your phone comes in, you have a case that fits and is gonna protect your phone. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now in this video, we're gonna be using this sample phone. Some people call it a clone, some people call it a dummy phone. This is the type of sample that is used to create the cases. And as you can see here, the very first case that we're gonna take a look at is the Halo Black. Now, the Halo Black is a TPU case, but it's a rugged TPU. So you have a polycarbonate back, you have TPU on the sides, right? And it's uh, it's clear, as you can see there, but it has kind of a, a gray or a smoke tint to it. It does have this protective, I would say film here that we can remove so we can see how this is gonna look. Unfortunately, I don't think Apple's gonna have a Aura Glow version like uh, Samsung does, but uh, we'll take a look at what this looks like. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna snap this into place like this, and then we can see how the overall aesthetics are gonna look. So this is really gonna showcase the colors of your iPhone, as you can see here. It has great um, camera protection, so you see here's the lens. It's not a super deep, um, I would say, protective case, because you can see that uh, we'll put this in an angle here. You can see how much protection you're getting. It's above it for sure. So if you were to lay this flat, you're not gonna have um, any problem with this touching a desk surface. But uh, again, it's not super deep. Now, as we take a look at the corners, you have some good bumper protection coming up on the sides. You have the iBlazon logo there. You have the appropriate cutouts for your, uh, again, charging port and then your speakers. Um, on the top, there's no, nothing going up here because the speaker still is in the very front. And then you have your, again, your power button, your volume rocker, and then again here, your mute switch. So this is what this case would look like. Now, if you're looking at the overall, let's say, screen protection, we'll put this in an angle right here, you'll notice that it does come up. So this uh, phone does not have a screen protector, but you can see how this is gonna look around it. So it is giving you some protection. It does come above it. So it's gonna be a decent case for those of you who are looking for a low profile, as well as giving you something with screen protection. Now the next case we're taking a look at is the Halo Clear. So this is a, same as the other case that we looked at, we'll still uh, try it on. It's gonna have the same features, but the difference with this case is that it's gonna be, again, a clear case. So there's no smoke to it. We'll remove this plastic, and you can see, again, uh, the polycarbonate back, TPU sides, everything looks the same, it just has a different treatment to it. We'll put our iPhone in so we can see what that looks like. And again, this is just gonna be about the look. So you can see everything is nice and clear. So again, if you're looking for a clear case, this is probably gonna be an option for you. Now the next case we're gonna take a look at is uh, from Subcase. And this case is, again, uh, the UB from the UB line, it's UB Echo. And this has a blue frame to it. So this is a two-part case. And we're gonna see a couple cases that have different treatments. So you notice that this has like a blue frame and then it has the TPU back that's gonna be flexible. So this one has like a built-in screen protector. If you were to put your phone in it, so we'll see what this looks like. You, know, you snap it into place just like this and then you were to insert it into the back like this. Uh, these are really nice cases. They slide in really nice and easy. And I again, I like the overall look. So you have a built-in screen protector, right? And you can see it has all the appropriate cutouts for the different uh, camera lenses that are gonna happen. So you notice that there's gonna be a lot of sensors with the iPhone uh, you know, uh, 11 Max. You can see those four areas there. You have your speaker open. And then you can see that it has great, great screen protection. Notice how high this comes up. We'll notice here on the bottom, appropriate cutouts are there, nicely and generous. On the back, I like this case. I like the way this treatment goes all the way around it, and it does come up quite a bit to protect your, your camera lens in the back. Um, same controls that you would expect from any case supporting an iPhone. The buttons are pretty pronounced. And this is gonna be, again, a really cool looking case for those of you who like blue. Uh, obviously, this would look really good like in a black or a white phone, depending on the colors that are available. Now, one thing I wanted to highlight, and this is gonna be the same for all the cases of this type, is to remove it, it has a little cutout here that all you do is you stick your nail like this and it comes off that easy. Now, the next case we're taking a look at is the UB Style Black. And this one also has, 
a protected film around it. This is also a really good looking case. I, I've, I've had these cases before on my phones and they just stand up really well. And I like the, the satin finish of the case. So here you have where you can put like a little loop lanyard if you wanted to you know, hold something on your wrist. You have the power button here. Over here you'll notice you have your volume control. The rocker switch is easy to access. The back looks pretty sharp again. You notice that treatment there and then the protection that you get on your camera lens. And from a screen perspective, if we put this in an angle, you'll notice that you get some great screen protection. I'd say that this case I really like if you were to get like a white stone dome glass or an AM film glass protector on this, it's gonna do well because this comes up high enough. So this is again, another good option for those of you who are looking for a great case for the iPhone 11 Max. Now this next case is in the same line, but this one is a clear one. You'll notice that it kind of accentuates. I think it, because of the clear nature and how reflective it is, it kind of highlights the edges of your iPhone. Um, like the, the, the different versions of clear. So here you have kind of like a frosted clear and then a clear, clear material. The way it looks in the back, uh, again, great protection for your camera on the back there. And then also from a screen protection, again, this is gonna be one that has a, uh, you know, the lip itself is pretty high up, so this is gonna give you some great screen protection, especially if you put a screen protector on this as well. Another nice case. Now the next one we're gonna take a look at is another UB, and this one is actually a black version. So this is gonna give you, again, that polycarbonate frame around it. You have that TPU back. It's clear. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of partial to this one too. So take a look at that. This is a really nice one. Easy to install, and then again, has the built-in screen protector. Um, great screen protection right there. And you'll notice, just like the way this looks. Uh, back, love this treatment over here. Uh, just like the other one, you notice there's a lot of protection there, right? Look how deep that is right there. Nice on that side. Easy to hold in the hand, and it just showcases the color so nicely. Now we're moving back to the Aries series of the iBlazon, and, and I really like this case uh, in comparison to some of the other ones uh, for a couple of reasons. Let me point this out. First of all, this is gonna again be a clear case. Uh, but I love the bumper. So this is going to be probably a step up in rugged protection because of how things pop out on each side. It does have a built-in screen protector with that frame going all the way around it. We'll put our phone in so you can see how easy this is. And then we'll showcase each one so just you can see uh, what they look like on the phone. So I'll go ahead and snap these in. And all I'm doing is just snapping every corner. And again, for me, this is kind of like um, more rugged, but you're not going to be adding a lot of thickness to your phone. So notice this. So great bumpers on the side. So if you do drop your phone, no worries there. You notice it has it on each side there. Notice how the buttons just stand out really nicely. You have right here your, your rocker. Wow, how do they do the rocker here? Oh, this opens up like this. So you have access to your rocker right there to protect it. Um, you have your volume rocker there. Over here in the bottom, you'll notice, um, again, a lot of protection. And again, the screen protection is pretty awesome too. So you can see how that looks. So this is gonna be a really nice case that protects every part of your phone, including the back here. Notice how nice uh, of a job it's doing here to protect your, your camera uh, lens itself. So again, sharp, sharp case. Love these cases, love the bumper protection. And you can notice uh, back on the back here how it raises it too. So this is never gonna touch the surface if you lay it down because they have these kind of, uh, these bumpers that stand out as well. Now this is another Aries uh, case, but this is green. Haven't seen one of these before. Notice this, I love the two colors. It almost has a, a emerald or lighter green and then a forest green on the bottom. You can see uh, the two tones here. Same features, it's just gonna give you another look. And for me, what I find is that having multiple cases are really cool because every time you switch a case, it's like having a new phone. So um, great, uh, what is it, uh, stocking stuffers too for Christmas coming around. So really good looking case, especially if your favorite color is green. Now this next case is an Aries case again, but this is blue, so you can see how the black and blue treatment looks really nice. And then as I flip this over, you can see what the back looks like as well. Love that color blue. Really offsets this really nice. Notice the blue treatment in there too. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Now the next case we're going to take a look at is from the Cosmo line, and this happens to be one of Nilda's favorite cases. Let me flip it over so you can see why. So notice all that bling. So this is gonna be in multiple colors. This is actually in the green, and it's a two-part case, so it has that frame again, and we're just gonna put it in place so you can see what this looks like. This is gonna give you also some fantastic, fantastic protection, uh, plus it's gonna give you, you know, that cool look. So here again, great screen protection, you know, built-in screen protector. Buttons are pretty responsive. This is also a grippy case, so it's not gonna be the kind of case that will slip out of your hand. You notice this one really goes well, so notice how that color of the frame here with this, how it looks, pretty sharp. Um, again, great cutouts here. Uh, buttons are gonna be very responsive. 
right? And it just looks good in the hand. This is an awesome looking case. And then again, this is from that Cosmo series. Now this next case is the marble uh, from the Cosmo line. It actually happens to be the same case that Nola has on her Note 10 Plus. Check that out. Love the way that looks. Again, same features that you see. Flip it over. Uh, great screen protection. Again, very nice looking case. Here's another Cosmo case, this one in purple. Check that out. Pretty sharp, right? Turn that around. So if you love purple, I know a lot of people who do. Beautiful case. Now this is the last of the Cosmo line, a little bit different. I uh, love this treatment. It's still marble, but it doesn't have all of the gold treatment all the way around it. Let's take a look at this. Still same protection. You can see what that looks like right there. Same screen protection, same buttons, everything is still the same. And again, really, really good looking case. Now the last two cases we're gonna look at are the, probably the most rugged and the most protective cases in the line. These are the Unicorn Beetle, again from Subcase, and these are some fantastic cases. Uh, they also come with a holster. These holsters are super durable. Um, notice how thick they are, the material. Never had one of these go bad on me. And they have kind of like the holster here mechanism, uh, goes around your belt, locks it in place nicely. Uh, really stiff, so you don't have to worry about this moving, you know, unwanted, so it's not gonna switch on you on its own. And it's gonna give, again, some, some fantastic, fantastic protection. Notice how nicely that clicks into place. Now you can actually put your phone in either position, so you can put in like a media viewing if you wanted to do it like this or you could do it where it's more protective. So these are some really great cases. Now these cases are kind of two parts, just like everything else. So you'll notice here, we will remove this plastic really quick, uh, that the cases have a protective uh, screen protector. Eh, this is giving me a hard time to find the corner. There's a corner edge. So they have a protective screen protector. And then what they have is they have that inner TPU. So as we take a look at it right here, this is what it's gonna look like. Screen protector, notice the actual depth right here. Um, really grippy, and again, lots of material. And notice how deep the camera uh, lens is here, so it's gonna give you a lot of protection, right? And then, you know, your ports are really well protected, so when we open this up here, you notice how deep that is in there? So you can see how much material, look at that, how much is in there. So this is gonna give you really uh, good protection. And I found having these on other iPhones and also on Samsung phones is that the, the sound quality doesn't get impacted at all when it comes uh, to the canal because that becomes really deep right there. And then you notice nothing here. The buttons here are really responsive, they always are. And then here you have this port that's really, you know, really well protected. So this is gonna be something that if you drop, you're not gonna have to worry about your phone getting damaged whatsoever. And then it also has this cool kickstand. So open this up. So, you know, open this up just like this. So if you're gonna be doing some FaceTime, if you're gonna be watching some movies, either way, this is gonna work. Now, for those of you who are curious about what the black version would look like, this is what it looks like in all black. Flip this over. Again, with the same kickstand, polycarbonate back, great camera protection. You can see how your buttons are right here. And that's what it looks like in the black version. Pretty good. So that wraps up our first look at cases for the iPhone 11 Max. Let me know what you thought about these cases, which one you'd pick up. Love to hear from you in the comment area below.